Well, depending on where you live in the country, where your parents are from in the world, and depending on the communities and cultures that you grew up around, being British can be very different to each and every single one of us. So we've decided to put together a really special piece of art that celebrates the different cultures that live together in Britain. To get started, I'm heading to Hideout Youth Zone in Manchester, where I'm going to be meeting top artist Vanessa Scott to see the canvas that's going to be our multicultural mural. Hey, Vanessa, how are you? Hi, Richie, I'm well, are you? Yeah, <laughs> good, thanks, but this is, this is quite big, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is a really big space and I really need some ideas to fill it. OK, well, you've come to the right person. Yes. So first things first, can we get the Algeria flag in there somewhere? That okay. would be good, but what colours are in the flag? Red, white, green. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. But that does still leave quite a lot of space to fill. Yeah, we're going to need more help than I thought. OK, I've got a good idea. Friend of the show, Amari, is an amazing cook, and I know just how important his Caribbean heritage is to him. Amari's mum has found some great pictures to help share their story. That's Grandad, isn't it? He came over in the 1950s. Yes, he did. He came from Antigua in 1955. He had a five-year plan to come over here, make money, and then go back home. But then he met Grandma. So would I be right in saying that he was part of the Windrush generation that came over to help rebuild Britain after World War II? Yes, he was. But who were the Windrush generation? Well, the Empire Windrush was a ship that brought around 500 Caribbean residents to the UK in 1948. But the Windrush generation is how we refer to the half a million Caribbean men, women and children who moved to the UK between 1948 and 1970 to help us rebuild the country. So, what do you think life would have been like for your granddad back in the 1950s in the UK? Well, there was racism. But my granddad was a very positive man and he had his goals that he wanted to achieve so he didn't let it phase him. Amari's great granddad is clearly a massive inspiration to him and I'm sure Amari will want to pay tribute to him in the mural. But before Amari gives Vanessa his design ideas, he wants to know how the mural might shape up. So I've been thinking about how we can start this piece of art. I thought about combining the Blue Peter badge as we know it, but changing it so that it includes the Windrush ship. What do you reckon? It's amazing. Yay! <laughs> Is there anything else you think I should put on this mural? Well, I think some colours of the Jamaican flag will help. And as I'm a chef, you could put some foods in there. So we've got the green and the gold and the black, really bright colours, and then some food, you say? Vegan food. Or all of the vegetables? Yeah. Well, my favourite veggies are the red ones, so we could get some peppers in there, some mm -hmm. chilli. What do you reckon? Yeah. Brilliant. All right, then I'm going to get drawing. By including the windrush and the ingredients that go into Amari's Caribbean cuisine, our multicultural mural is off to a great start. But we're going to need even more ideas. Let's meet our young helpers who are each going to add a flavour of their different backgrounds and communities to our mural. Any words that you think we could put on there? Freedom. freedom. Like that. Freedom. So I've got my flag shape here already. And is the moon and star in the middle, at the side? Um, on the left side. On the left side, OK. The, my parents and my family is from South Africa. Really? Yeah. Oh, have you ever been? Not yet, but I'll go soon. You will? Yeah. Yeah. So you like football? Yeah, and I like playing striker or right wing. I can play any position. Mm -hmm. It's just that I like playing up front. Yeah. I think the colours from your rabbit, brown and white spots, that's quite interesting to look at as well. Yeah, it is. Well, let's finish drawing this flag and then I think I've got loads of ideas <gasps> from you. <gasps> Did I do it wrong? We're starting to get some incredible ideas from this group of kids, but now it's time to get some paint onto that canvas. Right, Tia, Vanessa's watching to make sure I don't go wrong, but can you keep an eye on me, because I don't want her yelling at me. OK. OK. You look after me, yeah? Yeah. 
And what is it about football that you love so much? Uh, I don't know, you just pick up the ball and kick it. It's simple, isn't it? Yeah. And anyone can do it? Yeah. Good. Well, your paint is really smooth there. It looks really, really good. Thank you. Richie, not so much. Oh. What does it mean to you to be British? Um, it's just having the freedom to explore the country. You can't... No one can tell you what you, you have to do, what you have to wear. You can do whatever you want to. I've got to say, Vanessa, I've not painted anything for years, but I've really enjoyed today, especially with our team of kids helping us out as well. I mean, they did fantastic, and so did you. Like, your painting is very good. And what they did down here with all the textures really inspired me. So I might weave that in somewhere else. And I really, my big aim is to get it done before the big reveal in studio. I believe in you. But I also believe and can see and know that there is a lot left to go, and my wrist is actually aching a little bit, so I'm oh. going to leave you to it. <laughs> Thank <Good luck>. you. <laughs> we have the art piece right here in the studio. <laughs> with its creator, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. Welcome to Blue Peter. What do you think? Thank you. Well, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. My arm was aching afterwards, but it looks great. Yeah, it certainly does. Now, it looked like from that VT, you had a lot of fun making it. Tell me, did it, was it helpful having the viewers contribute their ideas and help inspire this artwork? It was. It was invaluable, actually, because they came up with perspectives that I would never have thought of, such as the Ital vegetables here, and also some sign language from Christabel, which says freedom. Yeah, so definitely. And we're very lucky to have this in our studio as a display for a few weeks. But afterwards, where will it take its pride of place? It's going to be on display at Hideout Youth Zone in Manchester, so anyone can see it there, which is great. Oh, that's such a lovely idea. Now, you have created a very nice memento for us to keep in the BP family yes. for uh, the studio. It's going to be a great display. As you can see, it's the BP badge with the Windrush uh, ship coming out of it. Yes. Thank you so, so much. Oh, you're Vanessa. welcome. You're welcome. Now, I, know, uh, I know Richie would be gutted because he can't see this in person, but he does send this message. Hi there, team. Hi, Vanessa. Sorry I can't join you in studio today for the live show, but I am out, as you can see, in the middle of nowhere. I'm here to shoot my next Blue Peter challenge, which I was going to describe as huge, but it's not. It's bigger than that, believe me, you'll see. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Vanessa for all her hard work on that mural. I've seen it, it's wonderful, it's incredible, and to have gotten every contribution from the children into that mural is brilliant. You're an inspiration, so thank you so much, and uh, I hope you all miss me, and I'll see you soon. No, we don't miss him. <laughs> no, we do miss him, Richie. Um, no, Vanessa, we haven't told you this, but we have right. another <laughs> very special message, but this time it's from the kids who helped out in the art piece. Oh! <laughs> that was cool! <laughs> I can see the turkey flag. Yo! Oh my! So many colours. Oh, and I can see the Kurdistan flag as well. I love seeing the Cameroon flag. That's where my mum is from. Vanessa's done a great job with the painting, especially my baking idea. It has incorporated food and I really love that. That picture is just wicked. It's a wonderful way to celebrate Black History Month and being British. Thank you, Vanessa. Oh, oh, that was so nice! <laughs> oh, that was so, so nice. Oh, that was Thank so you. nice. Hiya, Waxy here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and for more Blue Peter, check out the BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.